Hi, happy Halloween. I'm Robin Carlion from Robin's Authentic Wellness, and I am here to do the Soul Adventure reading for Soul Adventure Saturday. Yay! So, the first card is the compass card, and it's my being card. So, I know I'm being a unicorn today, so we'll see. We'll see what my being card is. Um, oh. Oh, that's actually attached to two. I really like that. Oh, I like them both. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to put them back just because I usually only pick one purposely so you can see as well. Oh, one just flew around, but that came with another one. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like double meaning Saturday on this special Halloween blue full moon Saturday. Isn't this so special today? So, so special. And also with the full moon being, so the card came out, it's right here. Um, with the full moon being in Scorpio Taurus energy. So right now, um, there we go. Did you see that? Okay, cool. Now, oh, interesting. I saw that. Okay. All right, so <laughs> um, the Scorpio Taurus, so Scorpio, we're in the Scorpio right now, and it's like Scorpio birthday season, and the moon is always the opposite, the opposing um, sign. So that, for me, is, not for me, for all of us, it's the blue moon, blue full moon in Taurus. So. Taurus energy is an earth energy. Um, it can be a calm energy. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, that's really, really cool. <laughs> um, so a very calm energy. And also very stubborn energy. So Scorpio and Taurus, and I'm speaking from personal experience when I'm talking about this because I have a Scorpio person in my life and um, sometimes it's easy breezy flow and sometimes it's where's the referees kind of thing. So um, I get it. So now picture that for the energy. So we're in the Scorpio, the intense, the emotional Scorpio energy, the water element, paired with the earth element. It can be very calming, but it is a very intense full moon. With all of the energy that we're in right now, uh, it's very amplified. So the new moons, um, I think the next new moon is the third super moon that we're going to be happening, if I'm correct, if I'm not, because um, I haven't actually been paying attention so much so to the moon cycles as I used to because I'm, I'm working on other things right now. So just to know, just for you to know that it, it can be a very intense energy. You could feel exhausted. You could feel, you could feel tired and you know, you need to take a nap or you just, you know that you need to release. Like there's just some like, like external, internal influences that are saying, yes, you need to release. It's the second full moon of October. So that's why it's called a blue moon. So that on its own, so the amplification of the new moons that we've been having, the two uh, full moons, so the blue moon today, Halloween being today, so happy Halloween, Halloween today. And this is when like, it's like um, the energy between like uh, the spirit world and the, the human world um, is very, very thin. So very interesting. Um, so anyway, really what I wanna get across is it can be a very intense moon. I would like to say, don't allow that to get to you in a negative way. Harness that energy, harness that courage, that strength, that intensity. And also harness 
that earth, that flow, that grounded energy. Now, when I say I have a um, Taurus in my life, so um, we both have traits that are stubborn. So I'm stubborn, but the Taurus is more stubborn. So it's just, it's very it's very interesting in, in how this could develop depending on what your sign is and how you're feeling in this energy because it's all different. It's all different and where the moons and the planets and everything are in your birth chart and, and how everything's aligning. It's, it's different for everyone. It's not going to be the same for everyone. For me, I definitely um, can feel the need for release. Now, this release isn't like, oh my goodness, like so much has happened um, and I just need to let go of it. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's like, oh my gosh, so much has happened. I need to release that. And there has been so much awesomeness and there has been so much not awesomeness. And it's just this balanced kind of energy and all of this is supposed to happen. And you wanna know why? Because we're moving into the age of Aquarius. So December 20th, 21st is when this new energy starts, where we're entering this new energy and it's already happening, it's already taking place. So it's more like technology. So we're moving into more technology. We're moving into, um, we're using technology more. COVID, <laughs> COVID has, has um, got us to change our ways and to shift into using more technology to communicate with each other. The air, the, uh, the, uh, the this energy, Age of Aquarius energy, this is going to be um, getting us to use more of our top three chakras. So that's our throat chakra, our um, third eye chakra, and our crown chakra. Ooh, and it's gold too. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, it's gold for a reason. Cool, if I'm more connected, that's, that's really cool. So I just wanna give you just a little energy update while I'm doing my soul adventure card. So if you have any questions about that, uh, let me know. I have my level one astrology. There's so many um, people out there that are more, um, way more knowledge, have much more knowledge than I do. I was thinking of another word, but I, I, I was thinking that maybe I wouldn't be able to pronounce that word. So anyway, um, prolific, that's the word I wanted to say if that is how it sounds and that's how it, what it means. Anyway, there are people that are much more knowledgeable with the astrology signs. Again, I only have my level one in astrology, uh, but that is the gist of it and the way that that's how I feel it. So I'm a psychic medium, I'm an energy practitioner. That is how, that's how it feels for me and being a Scorpio myself, I'm actually surprised that I'm I'm not feeling it a lot more where I am hearing that from my clients where they are like, wow, what's going on? What's going on? Oh my gosh. And, and some people are like, yep, nope, I'm in the flow. But for everyone that I have done readings for lately and when I'm using my tarot cards, everyone's got the moon card. And so we're being asked to release we're being asked to release everything, like everything that we need to be much lighter. We need to be much lighter going into the next months because there's a lot of changes and shifts and you're you're gonna see it and you're it's gonna all unfold for you and everything is going to unfold exactly how it's meant to for you and, and you will see that. But um, my message to everyone is to, allow yourself to release and to lighten up. So I am doing my own personal um, release. I usually I usually did do, um, you know, some full moon and, and um, new moon ceremonies. Um, I'm kind of not doing that anymore because I'm doing some other things right now. And I'm really putting my time to other things, but there's going to be, go on to YouTube. There's probably lots of groups in Facebook and Instagram everywhere that are going to, so someone will be offering if you don't know um, what uh, full moon releases and just go watch them or participate 
just observe and just kind of get the gist of it and maybe you can do that yourself or look up on Google and you know full moon releases and what you can do and you know kind of the process so everyone should be releasing everyone should also be asking for protection and protection energetically so to do that we just ask we ask source energy we ask God we ask whoever your higher power is that you believe in and you ask and you say please clear my energy field please like help me clear my energy all day and please protect my energy from um, external influences that you know may trigger me and may also attach itself to me so just watch for that be aware please be aware of that all right so on to my soul adventure reading now so this is my being card i am belief and this says, I trust all as is unfolding as it is meant to be, and I have faith. <clears throat> I certainly do have faith. I'm just going to grab my book so I can read this. So the next one is the emotional me. This one is the chakra card. And this one, excuse me for a second, this one is the solar plexus. So the solar plexus. This is emotions. This is um, creativity. This is sensuality. This is sexuality. This is being comfortable with who you are as you. So me, Robin Carlyon, I am very, very comfortable with myself. And I know myself really, really well. And I... I am aware of my emotions and I am aware of how I feel. So here in this book here, it lists the chakras and it lists, it just says something uh, small about this card and what it means. So the number two chakra, which is located just below the navel, this is the solar plexus. This is the orange chakra you can see behind me. Um, just kind of level with me right there is the sacral chakra. Now, this one says, emotional me, you feel your feelings and they move through your body and release. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. That's fantastic. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want to hear. And so... When I said that everyone is receiving the like or has received uh, the moon card lately that I've been doing readings for, isn't that so interesting? Because this is like um, a moon card for me. Because guess what? Guess what my energy card is? Surrendering. And this is a healing energy. Releasing. It's another word for releasing. Like, I surrender. I surrender to this full moon. I surrender to all of this energy because I want to release and I want to get as light as possible because I want to just float into this new, gorgeous, abundant air energy that I am so extremely excited about. I have been feeling so much um, awesomeness, abundance. So a lot of abundance when you surrender, when you are like, okay, like something's going on here and I don't know what it is. It feels like it, so the, it's the intensity. So it, it feels like things are like going really well. And wow, like I do feel like that right now. I feel that intensity. It's like, it's like a pulsing. It's like a pulsing that that it's like, yes, yes, yes. Like there is this amazing, I'm, it's exciting energy. It's this like manifesting awesomeness energy. And then I'm also feeling the, I am totally aware that there are things that I need to release. Now, there is the falling apart. So for the other people that are like, oh my goodness, like I can't quite grasp, I can't get control of this situation, let it go. Let it go. It's happening for a reason. If you, 
if you look around and you hear other people's stories and you observe as to what is happening or what has happened, there's been a release because we are supposed to release. There are things that are just meant to go and leave and shed. Now, my cards, I am belief, emotional me, surrendering. I believe. I believe that I need to surrender. I believe that I need to shed everything that does not resonate with me. And that makes me so happy. That makes me so extremely happy that I am going to be releasing. So shortly after this video, um, I will be working on my release for this evening. Now, and you can release anytime. So I am releasing because I do have, um, I have something coming up from seven until nine today. And I am going to be doing my releasing earlier and after, but I'm really going to be working on that. And also it's three days before the day of three days after that the full moon is at its most powerful. So if you don't get to it, to it today, tomorrow is completely fine. Com tomorrow's good. All right. So for the journal card, um, I'll be writing down, I am belief with my emotional me. Therefore I am surrendering. Ooh, I love this. I love the soul adventure cards. They are so developing. They are so, um, correct. They are so, I am aware of my energy. I love this. This is my guide. So I believe that I am guided by spirit. I believe that I am guided by source energy. And so when I use these cards and I, I use these every day for my self care and it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. I love how much I have leveled up and I will tell you that, um, I mean, we're all leveling up. If we're doing our work, if we're doing our self care and we're bettering ourselves every single day, then you're going, you're going to level up. You're going to level up and you're going to start attracting that higher quality energy. And that is what we want. And we also want to release anything that does not serve us and that resonate with us. And that can be any time. It doesn't have to be during a full moon. It doesn't have to be during a full moon. You can release anytime you want. And that's like that deep breathing. It's like doing self Reiki. It's meditating. It's taking a bath. It's soaking your feet. It's going for a walk. It's taking your shoes off. Even though it is getting cold out, it's fine. Just take them off for a couple of seconds and just really feel, really feel the release. Really feel like ask mother nature, like mother nature, my bare feet are on your earth. Please take everything that does not resonate with me anymore and please clear this energy you are always we are always being given downloads we are always being given information we are always being given new beginnings new cycles so be aware of that be aware of that of our thinking with our with our crown chakra with our messages that we were receiving from our third eye and really expressing expressing, listen to music, sing, really open up, really balance, balance everything and just feel amazing and feel divine. Thank you so much for watching my soul adventure Saturday video today slash full moon, blue full moon slash happy Halloween video. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. Mwah. Love you. Bye.